Can I try a piece? Hot. Hot. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back everybody to another camping with Tony and Bruce. Bruce, you coming up? Say hello. There he is. Okay, it's absolutely chucking down. It, it's <laughs> so grim outside. Uh, welcome to New Zealand in autumn. Four seasons in one day. Right, we've got to go to the campsite which is approximately it's going to take me about an hour and a half to get there. Um, tonight we will be camping in the roof tent because it is so grim. This is why I've got the roof tent. And we'll be cooking some great dinner, great food for dinner. Hopefully that, that all works out. It's not too windy and it's just rain. Um, so, I'll catch you at the campsite. We're here. So I've just got to go and find the campground. But just to put it in perspective, there's the river, but we're not going to cross it today. Maybe we can cross it in the morning, but we've just got to get to the campsite, which is uh, just around the corner, and I'll bring you back. Oh, everything's getting hit. Oh. This is where having a high vehicle isn't that great. The poor old roof tent is getting a clobbering. Oh, this is a nice little spot here. Could just park here right by the edge of the stream. Okay. Hey, Brissy. Right, I like this spot because I think I can just stop here right by the edge of the stream. This tree, there's trees around me to give me a wind break. Yeah. It's a really nice spot. So all I need to do is turn the truck around, park it up here, and then we're good to go. So I'll bring you back when we're all parked up. Oh. Right, welcome back everybody. I got, I got a lot of leaves, twigs, branches, all sorts up on the truck. That took quite a beating. <laughs> right, this is my spot. Unfortunately, there is a breeze coming, but it's swirling around. So. At the moment it's coming down the stream but I think once I get the awning out once I get the deflector down uh, we'll be good and when I come into the truck it's fine I'll have my fire pit here uh, it's a diesel so it doesn't matter and I've got a stream just here first of all though it is freezing so I think it's only now just a few degrees above freezing That was a big shot. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna get going quickly. Right, so the first thing we always do is Bruce gets his treat, so let's get that done first. I know, Brucey, you want your treat. Excuse the arse shot. Let's 
So I'm parked sort of half on the trail, but this is not a used trail. In fact, it's been completely disused for a long time. So I doubt very much anyone is gonna turn up. All right, Brucey. Good boy, look at you sitting nicely. Come on then. You can sit pretty. Sit pretty. Come on, that was a pathetic ascent. At least climb up for it. Come on. Oh, good boy. Go on then. Okay. Right, first things first, let's get the roof tent up. Um, because once I get the awning out, it's very difficult to then put that up. So let's get that done now. So this is the ladder for the roof tent. So we don't need that just yet. And that's it, all done. And then we just need to connect the ladder to the side. Easy, okay, let's get the awning out.
All right, that's it. That's the awning done. Now I've got a wind deflector. I need to put that on now as well. Bruce has just gone in the river because he had to because that's what Bruce does okay so this will just block the wind or trap it so it will skirt around us instead so whilst I like this thing the shape is just a bit wrong and it doesn't really work with the height of my car properly but we'll make it work so in this instance, bungees are your friend. Always use bungee cords. So I just need to weigh down the bottom here. So I might peg that down. And then peg this down. So I need to get my pegs. So I think I've only got about an hour of daylight left, maybe less. So I say this every time, get proper pegs. These are proper pegs. Okay. And this is why you want really good pegs because this ground is so rocky and sandy and a complete mixture of things. I don't know if you saw him cross over the river. Proper pegs. Okay, home sweet home. Come and have a look inside. <laughs> you can't see it, but Bruce is just crossing back and forth on the river. He'll do it again later, I'll show you then. All right, so that has instantly cut. Yeah, that's instantly cut the wind from that side. Now, there are meant to be strong winds coming, but if that happens, I'll die it down later. Uh, what I really need to do is get my chair set up. So for this trip, I've got a new chair. This is called a click. I got this thing on Amazon. It's called the Click Lounge Chair. It's got a very meaty padded bag to protect it. This is the cup holder. And this is how difficult this is to set up. That is it cup holder slots into either the left or the right hand slot it's one on each side and you have with these straps here so you can tighten up the pillow so it supports your head you have easily the most comfortable folding camp chair I have ever sat in oh this if you've got a bad back, this is the chair you want. 
it's heavy but for kayak camping it's brilliant okay now we're in a bit of a hurry we need to get the fire pit set up so i'm going to work out where i'm going to be sitting somewhere around here i'm going to want the fire pit uh, probably under the cover here so i'm going to put the fire pit right here So this is Bruce's water bowl, but he will not drink from it. He's got a fresh stream right here that he will drink from. Okay. So this is the Snow Peak Tabiki? I think it's Tabiki. And I've got a few attachments for it. All right, let's go and get set this set up on the ground. By the way, I've got to give a shout out to Matt at One Stop Auto in Blenheim and the boys at One Stop who do all the work on the truck. But Matt for making me this new hat, awesome. Okay, so I've got a grill for it. This is the fireproof plate. Which I'm not sure I'm gonna need, but needs to be stable. That'll work. Okay. And then this is the fire and it is so easy. That's it. That's the fire. How easy was that? Okay, now I just need to make it level. Okay, there we go. And I've got a charcoal insert for it that sits like that easy peasy look at that got my fire pit and then this is the grill that goes on top later i'll put that off to the side for now and Bruce will clean it up for me. Right, I need to sort Bruce's dinner out, so let's get that done too. Uh, in case you're wondering what these two things are, these are my battery banks, my EcoFlow battery banks, and I'll show you what I'm gonna use those for later, tonight. All right. We need to sort Bruce's dinner. Which means we need to sort out his bowl. Do you want your dinner, Bruce? We've got a combination of things for Bruce this time. Hello. Alright. We go into the fridge. Obviously, mind out. <laughs> he's, he's desperate. So he's got Jimbo's organic lamb food here. Lamb. Yum. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it in with a bit of this nude wet food as well. This has got all sorts of good things in it for him. Oh, that's a good sized portion, Brucey. Mix that all in. You can't see him, but he's here. He's wagging his tail. 
That's a lot of food for Brucey. Check it out. Look at that. Organic, beautiful, lovely lamb. Okay, let's give Brucey his dinner. There you go, Brucey. Right, so my fridge is in the back here. And I need to plug this into one of those EcoFlow units. So this fridge actually does both AC and 12 volt. So I'm going to use 12 volt. And I will run this into the back here. Okay, now how am I going to do this so that it doesn't drip? Hold on. In case it rains, I need a bit of a loop there. Yep. Turn my eco flow on. So I'm definitely going to be using this later. I've got heating, I've got Starlink with me, because there's no signal here. Okay, turn the 12 volt on. There you go, everything is on. All right. Whew, okay, we need to get the fire pit cranking. Gotta love this chair. So now the breeze is blowing straight across. So when I sit back here, I can't feel any breeze. Nothing at all back here but it is coming straight across the side of the truck there. Uh, and I can feel it even blowing through the window here. So I am going to have to work this out later. I might have to move the fire pit closer or move the fire pit here. That might be a better option. Yeah, I'm going to move the fire pit over here. Let's get rid of some of these bigger rocks. Okay, Bruce, you got it all. You got it all. Well done. Okay, let's put the ash, ash pan down. That up. Oh, that's much better, yeah. Okay. And that's stable there. And if it does rain, that it's due to rain, then I can cook undercover. I won't get wet. Excellent. Okay, let's get the fire lit. Okay, I've got fire lighters. I need to put some coal on. Sometimes matches are just better. do this. I struggle with these string things all the time. Does anyone else struggle with these things? Every time. You're meant to be able to just pull one end and the whole thing pops open. I've yet to work it out. I think I've managed to do it once. Get 
it just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> so I'm going to rip it. gloves Bruce away from there come on enough you have plenty of fun right so my gloves are fireproof and waterproof Right, we need to get this cranking, so I'm going to put a few of these on. Okay. So now we need to put coals on. without setting light to the bag. So I've started using charcoal instead of wood. You'll see that on my last couple of vids. It's just, there's less smoke, less bath, and it lasts longer. Okay, so now we just wait. That'll take about 40 minutes before it's ready. Make sure they're not put out at all. Yeah, okay. I think that's good. Okay. What I'll do is get the rest of this set up and then bring you back for a beer. Okay, I'm all set up. As you can see here. Hey Brucey, but let's just give you a quick look around. Oh, let's turn our lights on. Just put them on low. Fire's coming along. I had to use my tire inflator to get it cranking. I've got the Starlink running. You might have seen some tape earlier on the truck. This has only just been moved, the LED bar, which is why there was tape on there. I forgot to take it off. So this is where we are. Brucey, do you want to show them where you are? You're going to cross. So Bruce has been going in the river, in the stream, constantly going back and forth. This is where we are. This spot is absolutely magic. It really is. Look at this. This little stream here is nice and quiet. Right over there, there's an actual river. Well, a, stream, a bigger stream that branches off. And that's the bit that you have to cross in the 4x4 that we didn't do. And there's camp. What I need to do is cross, cross this river, cross this stream, to show you what camp looks like without falling in. Let's see how slippery these rocks are. Okay. You see, Bruce doesn't care. He just walks across. <laughs> Brucey. Uh. So there's camp. Look at that. It's awesome. And here's the river. Well, I keep saying river, but it's not, it's a stream. It's just a mountain spring stream.
check it out. Lovely. It's all coming from that catchment area up here. And there's camp. Go on, Brucey, let's go. So I've got to be careful, my ankle is still injured which is why I'm doing another car camp and not a wild camp. I can't really walk very far and it's very painful. So in case you're whinging that I'm doing another car camp, this is why. Look how clear this water is here. There's a pool, like a little waterfall here. And that's a deep pool down there. And the water is crystal clear. Oh, if it was summer, I'd have a dip and cool down. But it's not, it's autumn here in New Zealand, which is March. Brucey, are you trying to jump on the rock? Right, let's go and have a beer. Okay, let's get the beer on. The magic fridge. Oh, I've got dinner in there. Oh, 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 it's so cold. Oh, I'm down. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Thanks for coming. Mmm. That is nice. Okay, so, whew, this camp. Let me just sort this chair out. Oh, you know, in this spot right here, I can't feel any breeze. Got this protecting me. Now, you're not gonna see Bruce, much of Bruce. Whoa. So I'm on a bit of a bank here. Um, and I need some stable surface to put, to put this chair on because the back of the chair is, is, the ground is much lower than the front of the chair. So hang on, it's not the chair's fault, it's the site. If I can find some solid enough ground, then I'll be okay. And I want to be as close as possible to this fire without burning this cup holder. Hold on. Ah, now, the advantage of being able to switch sides. There you go. Oh, finally, I'm down. Yeah, so I was just about to say, you're not gonna see much of Brucey because he's playing in the shadows. He's all over the place. I can't get to him. I can call him. We'll see what he does. Bruce! Hello. Hello. Oh. Cup holder, awesome. So, what's there to note? It's cold, it's autumn, it's not winter yet, um, but you know, <laughs> it seems to be approaching quite quickly, suddenly. Um, we're in a beautiful location. There is a storm absolutely kicking off where I live. Now, rumor has it, according to the radar, because I've got my Starlink set up now, it could be heading this way. I hope not, because it will be a lot of rain and a lot of snow. Uh, not snow, uh, a lot of wind. And that would be a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. I don't like the wind. I hate the wind. So let's wait and see. Fingers crossed, we'll be okay. 
Um, yeah, so for dinner, I'm actually going to cook pizza on here, on this grill. I popped into a store today and saw a pizza oven that you just plonk on top of a barbecue. So I've got that in the back, so that's what I'm going to do. And then for breakfast, I'm going to use it as well. But what I need this to do is uh, I need to just get this, all these coals completely glowing, lower them flat, put the grill on. In fact, I can probably put the grill on now. Let me just get my tongs. Okay, so let me just spread this fire out. Oh my God, that's so hot. Now that I've done that. Okay. So all the other charcoal will catch because it's in contact with it. Just make it all nice and even. Okay. Then we take the grill. And we literally plonk it on like that. Now, how high do I need that off? I think I need to lower it a bit for the pizza oven. Yeah, this grill is incredible. One side there, yep. We on? Stable? It's all good. And then the pizza oven will just go on top of here. Hopefully. I'm hoping that's low enough. I could lower it even more, but I think that will do the trick. Wow, it's so hot. It's just giving off so much heat. It's so nice. Oh. And then I've got some special logs to have a proper fire after I'm done with that, just to get some flames, just for the ambience uh, and the heat, obviously from the flames as well. Oh, now I don't know what to do. Do I lower it one more down to, no, I think that's good. No, we're good, okay. And here's the thing, now I'm actually getting so hot sitting next to this thing that I have to move back. Oh, <laughs> I just can't get it right. Okay, so yeah, that's the trip. Camping uh, with a bit of luxury in the middle of nowhere. Got my Starlink set up so I can speak to my wife. I've got this so I can cook my food. I've got my rooftop tent because look at this ground. Could you imagine trying to set a tent up on this? No chance. Um, yeah, so rooftop tent, I've even got a little fan heater uh, for the rooftop tent that I might run intermittently through the night. And I'll run that off of the, uh, off of the EcoFlow. So yeah, we're all good. Right. I think it's time to put the pizza oven on to get it as hot as possible. So let me just get that. Okay, there really isn't much to this thing. It's called the Baker Stone. See, look at that. It's got a temperature gauge on the top and inside it's just a whole load of stones. So apparently you need to make sure you get maximum heat in the back of it so that the flames, so that so much heat goes into the back. Oh, I can feel that immediately. Okay, yep, that's working. Okay, so yeah, it says to push as many coals to the back as possible, but I've got a lot going there and already. But that's the most important bit, is the back of it. Wow. Really, is that it? 
That's pretty cool. Okay, and then there's a temperature gauge on the top. So we just wait for this thing to come up to temperature. Put the pizza in. Pretty simple. Right, so I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my beer. Just chill out. Because uh, there's not much else I need to do. It's that simple. No, and now the wind is swirling. I'm gonna be in the wind here, aren't I? Anyway, we'll work it out. Okay, everyone, I'll bring you back when we're ready to put the pizza in. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, so this is pretty much up to temperature. I did lower it down uh, right to its lowest level. And wow, that's hot in there. Okay, so I've got my fancy schmancy little table thing set up. We need to get the pizza on. I've got my two paddles. I probably should have got longer ones, but whatever. Okay, let's get the pizza. Ah, I forgot. I've got some garlic bread as well. Hmm. What do I do? Do I do the garlic bread first? And then the pizza? Yeah, I think so. I didn't think about that. I need a starter. Okay, so garlic bread, very easy. I'm assuming that just goes in. It's a shame the pizza won't fit in there at the same time because they require the same amount of time to cook. Will the pizza fit at the same time? Let's have a look. I would say it might. Let's check it out. So I've got a meat lover's pizza. It says gourmet, but you know, it's store bought. Um, how'd you get into this thing? Oh, it's okay. Now, some people will say, Oh, why didn't you make your own pizza? Because this isn't a cooking show. <laughs> I know the irony, I'm actually cooking on it, but still, I'm quite lazy when it comes to that stuff, and that's not what this is about. Ah, will it? fit the whole thing in. No, it won't. Okay, so it's gonna have to be garlic bread first. So I think that takes 12 minutes. So I'll set a timer. Oh, hey Siri, set timer, 12 minutes. Confirmed, okay. Put that back in the fridge. And in the meantime, oh, can you imagine garlic bread cooked in this pizza oven? Oh, and this is a full black now. Oh my God, it is so hot in there. I've got a bottle of wine. So this is an Elephant Hill Le Fond Rouge 2020 from New Zealand. From Hawke's Bay, this is a blend. It's Merlot, Syrah, Tempranello, and Malbec, Elephant Hill. I'm doing everything Hawke's Bay at the moment just to help them out because they've suffered hugely in the storm. There you go, Elephant Hill. So, bottle of wine, warm things up a bit around here. It's like that scene from The Thing at the end. He says that fire has warmed everything up around here. Cheers. Uh, this does look precarious, doesn't it? But it's pretty solid. I was talking to Jörg at Go 4x4 and he's going to get one. He said, oh, does it clamp to it? I said, no, but you could just clamp it yourself. Get your own little clamp. So I think he's getting one as well. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for coming. Very nice.
needs to uh, breathe a bit, get some air to it. Mm. Really nice. Okay, so sit rep on the temperature. It's got colder. Yeah. Oh, Brucey. Bruce has just been in the river and then shook. Um, it's got colder and more windy and for some reason the wind is just coming straight at me. Unreal. I think if I sat more towards the, the wind cover, the wind deflector here, it might block it out more. Actually that does a pretty decent job. But there's another way to stop feeling cold from the wind and that's to put Bruce's blanket on. I'm not at that stage yet because I think what I really need is food. When you're cold, just get loads of food down you and you soon warm up. Oh, and alcohol. It's a proven fact that alcohol actually makes you warmer. That's not true. It, it, don't believe that for a second. It actually makes you colder. It was called a joke. So I can smell garlic. I can smell this garlic bread already. And I can hear it sizzling. I am so excited. Is this gonna burn on the bottom here? Put it in the middle here. I don't know what this temperature gauge. Oh, okay, no, it's all right. I think it's working. I think it's just doing its thing. I love this chair. I've just chosen the exact wrong round for it. <laughs> but it is, it is a lounger. It is so comfy. I tell you what, I could fall asleep. If I was cozy and warm, I could fall asleep in this thing. This is like a lounge. It is, it is like a lounger. I'm leaning back, everything's supported. This is so comfy. What is this thing called? A click lounger. Okay, now the wind is obviously coming from behind me now because it's pushing down on this. There's the wind. See, this is why I like charcoal. You just get some sparks off it, but that's about it. Oh, I can't believe the wind is coming. Hello, Brucey. Okay, I'll bring you back when I'm putting the pizza on. Okay, welcome back. My garlic bread is ready. Apparently, let's get the pizza on. I can smell a little bit of burning. <laughs> I hope I haven't burnt the garlic bread. So this has been it going for about 12 minutes. It's a meat lover's pizza and I can see just so much meat. So much meat. Okay. This. So there's a cardboard base, I think. Yes, there is. Okay. It's very well done. This is just from my local supermarket. Okay, so let's take the cardboard base off. And then, without dropping any of it, slide it on in. I should have bought some flour. It might stick. Gosh, that instantly smoked. Uh, I think the fire's too hot. Okay, so what I need to do is lift it, raise the whole grill up. 
because I think I'm going to burn it quickly before it burns. So we lift. How do we do it? I know you're all expecting a disaster to happen because it's me. And that was highly possible, but that's how easy it was to do. Okay. All right. It's not sticking, but it is burning a bit. Let me push that all the way back in. Okay. We're good. I think we're good. There is a lot of smoke coming off this thing. Whatever. It is what it is. Hello, Brucey. <coughs> oh, smoke. Smoke, boost out. Lots of smoke. Should I lift this fire up a bit more? Yeah, I think I should. Wow, this is really cranking. Uh, come on. Oh, the smoke. Ah. The smoke's from the pizza. Oh well, it's gonna be a crispy base. Ah! Yep, there you go. <laughs> You were right, I was going to cock it up. Oh, let's try this again. Hang on. This isn't as easy as it looks. And you definitely have to have heat proof gloves on because this is so hot. Oh my God, I've got to put that down. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, that was hot. Bruce, get out, out. Oh, he almost got burned. Okay, so what I need to do, <laughs> yeah. oh, my pizza is just cooking in the oven all by itself without even being on the coals. <laughs> that was so hot. Oh, it's a good job these are fireproof. Okay, I don't even think I need to put this thing back on. It's just, it's so flipping hot. It's, it's cooking. It's cooking and it doesn't even need to be on there. Okay, I'll tell you what, forget it. Let me set a timer. Hey Siri, set timer, 12 minutes. <laughs> Sorry if I just triggered all of your series, but look at it cooking. It just didn't need any more heat. There's so much heat in there. Those stones are, okay, maybe I overdid it. Maybe I put it too low and just got it too hot in there. But I tell you what, let's just see how the garlic bread came out. Because that will be the proof. It's a little burnt. I won't lie, it's a little bit charred. Mmm. So good though. Okay. So I'm predicting the bottom of the pizza is going to be burnt. I had that way too low. Look at my lovely fire though. It's giving off so much heat. Okay. The garlic bread is burnt. It's char grilled, unfortunately. But it tastes fine. But I think the pizza is going to be screwed. Mm. I wish I had longer things, paddles. Because if this sticks at the back, then there's no way to get it out. She said. Okay. The garlic bread is hitting the spot though, I have to say. Even though I have char grilled it. And when I said I, I really have burnt it. <laughs> that needed 
an nth of the time that I actually left it in there for. Hmm, but it's nice. I think this is the right move. Those stones are so hot, it's so hot in there that it's just cooking. I can see the cheese is starting to melt. It's all good. It's all good. The pizza is going to be better than the garlic bread. Watch. You wait and see. Trust me. Have faith. Right, everyone, I will bring you back shortly for pizza. Okay, welcome back everybody. Timer has gone off, okay. Let's, I know I've burnt this. I've, I've put it back up here just for convenience, but I know it's burnt because I can see it. I've burnt my pizza base, but it's not so bad. It isn't, it really isn't. Okay, now what I need to do is get rid of the pizza oven and the grill. You don't need those on there anymore. So let me do that now, because I need that pizza to cool down. Yeah, lesson learned. I let that get too hot. Oh well, first time. First time for everything. Oh, the second you lift that pizza oven off, the heat. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with here. Now it's burnt, but I'm hopeful this is still gonna taste good. Got my big slicer. I mean, that's, that's just, that's not even crisp. That's just burnt. <laughs> A burnt base. Oh, this is going to need a while to cool down. This is charcoal base. <laughs> hey, this is Camping with Tony. If you've never seen one of my videos before, invariably something goes wrong. I'm so desperate. Can I try a piece? Mmm. Wait. You know what? It's totally completely utterly burnt. <laughs> um, get rid of that. But, all I can taste is pizza. Yeah, it's burnt. The bottom is crispy, but... I like the garlic bread. Mm, that was average. This tastes great. Mmm. Okay. You know what? Saved. Next time, what I think is you just run it at the top setting. That was just way too hot and maybe have that gauge needs to be halfway. Mm. You can cook all sorts in there. Burgers, roasts, anything. But, I'd rather cook burgers on the open grill. I know this must be noisy. But it tastes delicious. 
You taste like a good meat lover's pizza. It's just crispy. And hot. Very really hot. Mmm. Oh, I'm comfy. Wow. Bruce has gone in the stream again. It's gone to get water. Okay. Now, now I'm getting hot. Sorry, let me just move this. Oh, now I'm getting really hot. The charcoal is giving off so much heat. I want to save my logs until cigar time. Get some flame on for cigar time. Hi, Bushy. No, there's no food. He's only come over to see if there's any food for him even though he had that massive dinner. There's nothing, oh, I can have a piece of bacon. Here, Brucey. Sit. There you go, good boy. Hey, gentle, jeez. I got a comment from someone she said, um, she's a 70-year-old lady, she doesn't understand why I had to snap at Bruce when he was pestering me, telling me, you know, telling him off. He's a working dog. You need to learn about... Bruce, out of there. See? I ha if, if you let Border Collies, if you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. Okay? Bruce, out. They need discipline and agility constantly. Otherwise, they'll rule you. Border Collies are not for people who live at home and don't go anywhere, can't do agility, elderly. It's no offense, they're not. They're not like your normal dogs and they need discipline all the time. Um, if you don't know anything about them, research it. Watch the film Babe and you'll see discipline is required. That film's pretty accurate. All right, it's gonna take me ages to eat this pizza. I'll bring you back for cigar time. Thank you again for coming here, everyone. Mm. All I'm missing is some Tabasco. Welcome back everybody. Okay, so it is cigar time. Um, but first, and by the way, that pizza, I did struggle, but I got through it. <laughs> I did the honorable thing. Um, first, I wanna put 
the kettle on. Because we're going to make a hot chocolate. Okay. So yeah, I put the grill back on. That'll, that'll boil. So, cigar time. So these are from, so I've got another cigar from the collection from Sean in Scotland. Thank you again, Sean. I can't remember what this one is. Ah, uh, I should have made a note of it. It's very strange, it's got a label at the bottom here. Actually, hang on, let me put the light on it so I can see what it is. Hold on, everybody. It is the Flor, Flor Selva Robusto. Okay. I'm um, very keen to try it. Love a Robusto. I don't know where this is from. I should Google it, really. Okay, let's see how this one is. Now the last one I tried of his was absolutely lovely as well. That was a really strange name, I can't, my memory, honestly. I can't remember what it was called, but it was lovely. So that was in my last camp. I'm looking forward to this one. It's a, it's a nice change to have something that's not Cuban. Uh, nice aroma. Very nice aroma. Yep. The Robusto is the perfect size for me. It really is. That's smooth. That's very smooth. I like that. Easy draw. Yeah, I like that. It's got a slightly bitter aftertaste. But it works. The outer leaf is a bit crumbly, but that might be because I cut it. Maybe I should use the, the punch that Sean sent me. Thank you, Sean. Thanks for that very much. Um, oh, when I was in the supermarket, um, I bumped into a lady called Ali, Allison, um, and she stopped me at the checkout and said, hi, Tony, we watch your YouTube channel. Ali and Jesse, uh, her son, Hi to you both. Nice to meet you today. So, um, I've got my stogie. I'm saying stogie because the guy's at one stop. One of the guys said, can you please say it's stogie time? There you go. My local garage. Right, so let me see. Oh yes, usual thank you everyone so much for uh, everyone who's contributed to the channel for buy me a coffee which is where you you know contribute to buy treats for myself and for Bruce or you know for gear it all goes to the channel um, for everyone that's bought merch again thank you so much I'm still haven't seen anyone on the street with merch on maybe in the States I will when I'm on holiday there I don't know um, thank you to all of the uh, YouTube members this is a more recent thing where I store my videos in the members area only first before releasing them to the public. This has happened because of the vacation uh, and just timing and everything. And so they pay 
contribution to be able to get access to those early. Otherwise, no one would see them and they'll just be released. So that's why. So thank you again to YouTube members. And to all the Patreon members as well. Thank you so much. And um, super thanks and all the other financial contributions. Also, thank you to all of our subscribers. It means a lot. All of the thumbs up. I love seeing those. That's great. Thank you. Um, I wanted to clarify and clear up something uh, because it keeps coming up. So, I, so the members thing, uh, I'm getting a lot of questions saying, uh, is that it now? Is it all videos behind a paywall? No. You're seeing the members channel because that's what YouTube does. Um, but those videos will always become public. Every single video that you see in the members area will become public at some point. So don't fret. You don't have to spend any money. They are still free. Uh, it's just, that's early access. That's it. Those people are paying for very early access. Some people are paying for really early and some people are paying for just early. And there's two, two levels. Because uh, again, people ask. So please don't worry. Uh, the whole channel is still free. It costs you nothing at all to watch. Nothing. Are there ads? Yes. Are sometimes sponsorships? Sometimes. And is there a members area for early access? Yes. Uh, that's just the nature of, of YouTube. That's the nature of this channel. Um, now, the other thing I wanted to clarify is comments. Yes, comments are disabled on the videos. I doubt they'll ever come back. Again, you, because I'll go over this again. It's because of all the scamming, the bots, um, the spam. It was uncontrollable. It was off the charts. The trolls are just trolls. They mean nothing to me, honestly. These are, you know, when someone writes a nasty comment or says something like that, they're, they're nothing to me. They mean nothing. So don't worry about it. It's not because of that. They're, um, I don't know these people. I don't know them. I can only imagine what they're like. And I'm sure their parents are really proud of them. <laughs> not. So, no, it's not because of trolls. It's just because of all the scams and the, there's thousands of comments and I just can't manage it all, so I just got rid of them totally. So I've moved it just so that it's on community, Facebook and Instagram. Now, here's the thing. Even on the community posts now, the bots and the scammers have found a way to infiltrate the community posts. They've realized my channel is now disabled for comments, so now they're moving to the community posts. This is India. It's India. These scammers. Oh, and they're just persistent. They really are. So if that gets out of control, I will disable comments, period, on entirety of YouTube. Because I just don't want to deal with them anymore. I don't want to give them the opportunity to scam one of my viewers. I just don't. Uh, if you're smart enough not to fall for the scams, good for you. Fine. This is for the vulnerable that are not. And I'm, I've got a moral high ground here and I'm sticking with it. I'm, I don't care who it upsets. Um, this is for those that do get scammed. So the other way to comment is on Facebook or Instagram where clearly the scammers don't get to work the same way. Thank God. So that's that. That's, that's comments. They're off. They're gone. They're, for now, temporarily available on, on community posts, but we'll see how long that lasts. But I'm not hopeful. I'm sorry. Um, email list. Please sign up for notifications. So go to my website, www.abcampingandoutdoors.com and just key in your email address to sign up for notifications. Uh, that will notify you when there's meet and greets, and when there's new videos, that's it. There's no spamming, nothing else. They're not used for advertising, nothing. Just those two things. Um, oh, so now talking about just sort of stuff in general. Credit Suisse is gone. Now, this might not mean a lot to most people, especially in the States. They think Credit Suisse, what's Credit Suisse? Just some Swiss bank. Credit Suisse was actually a massive investment bank, huge. And it was big in the States, big globally. 
I, my career, I started out, second bank I worked for was Credit Suisse Financial Products, CSFP. There's a specialist fixed income trading unit that got uh, basically sucked into CSFB, Credit Suisse First Boston. So some of you might remember First Boston in the States. And Bruce, that's a shadow of a tree. Bruce, it's a shadow of a tree. You're looking at a reflection of basically the light on the tree there. Come on, leave it. No, Bruce, leave it. Bruce, enough. And Bruce is warning me of an object, which is basically a tree. <laughs> he does this. Okay, so Credit Suisse. So yeah, it, uh, first Boston, uh, Credit Suisse, first Boston merged and Credit Suisse basically consumed the entire thing and it, the investment bank. And I worked at CSFP before it became CSFB. So this is a long time ago. But they were big. They were big in what I do, equity trading. They were very big in algorithmic trading. They were pioneers, in fact, of this thing called iceberg trading, algorithmic trading. So huge. And now they're gone. Gone. Given, basically, to UBS for a small price, a small fee, and some guarantees so they don't collapse and cause complete global meltdown in the investment banking industry. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I forgot to format the SD card. So, <laughs> unfortunately, it gave me an error, just as I was talking about Credit Suisse. Right, but, while I was dealing with that, my kettle is boiled. So yes, Credit Suisse, nightmare, it's gone. Um, the investment banking division caused all of its problems. UBS got it for a song and a whole lot of protections and they're hoping that that will stave off a global financial crisis. Will it? Who knows? I don't know. All these risky bets that everyone is taking. Just separate. You know what? The easiest solution is to just separate banks that have regular depositors from investment banks. Go back to the days where investment banks were separate. And don't let banks, normal high street banks, street banks, you know, don't let them invest. There you go. That will control it. The trouble is that they're all publicly listed and the shareholders demand return for their investment. So they want you to invest. They want, you to, they want the banks to take risky investments because they want to see returns. They want to see dividends and things like that. So there you go. Ah. I'm solving all the world's problems here. <laughs> oh, what I'm watching on TV. What did I watch last night? Mm. Before I tell you what I watched last night, let's get some flames on. Let's get some flames on. take the grill off. Okay, so as much as this is nice and it's giving off good heat, we want some ambiance, we want some flame. Flame on. Well, we're gonna get that. Oh boy, are we gonna get it now. These natural fire logs, they're just reprocessed, they're just, well, reprocessed, processed, I guess, logs. and made into um, these special fire logs, Samba. I don't know what brand that is or where it's from.
wind has picked up. I spoke to my wife, Anne, and she said it's absolutely chucking down at home. So that's what, two hours away. You know what, this is gonna burn. So let's just stick that on there like that. Burn the outer cover. There you go. And scatter these about. Pretty easy. There we go. Okay. Flame on. And now you're in the smoke. So you see the wind has changed direction. It's blowing towards the camera. Let me just move it. Ah, okay. So where were we? What were we talking about? Oh, Netflix. Yes. So we watched something last night actually called, oh, sorry about this, smoke. This is why I like charcoal. Bruce, I can hear you doing something. Oh, nightmare, nightmare. Oh no. Oh, I had the ambiance so nice. <laughs> um, yeah, Netflix, uh, a program called Out, um, Outlast. Yeah, Outlast or something like that. Basically, it's a survival show. Obviously based on and copied from Alone. Um, but where teams have to be formed and who lasts the longest wins in horrible conditions with minimal gear and they've got to work out how to feed themselves and clothes, you know, basically protect themselves, keep themselves warm, everything else. So if you've never seen Alone, this is what it was based on, Alone. Now, we are smoking like crazy because we need a flame. Hold on. Let me introduce a flame. Should stop the smoke. Come on, catch. Catch, I just need this to get hot enough that it, it flames on and then the smoke will stop. Oh my God, that's so hot. Well, it's smoking so much because it's about to get hot enough to flame on and that will stop the smoke. Okay, so Outlast, nightmare, what a show. I was gripped, absolutely gripped. I found it fascinating at first, I really did. And then, it, it just showed the worst of humanity. Win at all costs and it showed true colors, it really did. Now I haven't finished it yet. I've just got to the bit where the two, these two women were just horrible. Oh my God, and both in their own right were just vile to what seemed like a very nice guy. And I don't know what the producers were thinking. They just said they let it play, but I, I, it, we were, both Anne and myself were absolutely just shocked that people would behave like this, even on front of camera, showing off, thinking this was cool. This was disgusting behavior. I never want to know someone like that, ever. Just never. Win at all costs for a TV show and give up basic humanity. Treat your fellow man like they are scum to win a prize of money. This was a terrible show. I really hope they don't bring it back or if they do, I hope there are rules. But they said, no, we're playing within the rules. There's no rules. We can do whatever we want. We can burn your camp down. We can steal your things. 
I think they would have got violent if they'd been given the choice. Now, I haven't even finished the show yet, so who knows what happens, but... It was I, horrible, horrible. All it made me realise was that in an, you know, it's the fan situation, if there was a major crisis, then people would turn into this. It's disgusting. It's really disgusting. It just shows there really is safety in numbers. This poor guy was all by himself. And these two women literally bullied him out of the show. Well, I'm assuming he's out of the show. I haven't got to that yet. But if you've got Netflix, just watch it to see what I'm talking about. I really don't want to promote it. Outlast, but it was so horrendous. These are not people I want to know. Yeah, really disgusting individuals. Is honor and integrity, is it dead? Is it gone now? This is an American show. Is it gone in America? Have, have we basically now said that might is right? I thought our ancestors fought again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Smoke. I thought our ancestors fought against might is right. In World War II. Oh, I've got to get this flame on. Hang on. This has got to happen. Come on. Something's got to catch. Why isn't it taking? These logs are so hot. The flame should take. No. No flame. Oh, hang on. No, we might be in action here. We might be in action. We've got it. Flame. So it smokes heaviest just before it catches fire. Same with normal wood as well. And then once you've got flame, the smoke dissipates. Dissipates. Dissipates? Dissipates. Anyway, <laughs> I don't edit any of this, as you can tell. This is the wine talking. But I, yeah, is this, is this where we're at really? Because then I worry for humanity if this is where we've got to, where might is right at all costs and just treat your fellow man, woman, like scum. She, one, that one particular woman on this show was just awful what she called the guy. Awful. This is a nice guy. He did nothing wrong. She was just a disgusting individual. Now, some of you are probably like, yeah, no, they played by the rules. Those were the rules, blah, 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 blah. Hey, look. <laughs> Anyone out there that thinks that, uh, then you haven't grasped what it is to be above animals. Yeah, we're meant to be better than that. We're meant to be educated. We're meant to treat our fellow man with respect and honor. What a show. Anyway, Outlast. Uh, come on, smoke. So, this will be the last video I make before my vacation. <laughs> this smoke is outrageous. The camera is still picking me up though. I don't know how. Uh, it's because the other, uh, it's because a few of the logs haven't caught yet. They'll get there. You wait and see. You know what, I've got to help this along a bit. Got to help it along. so that the flame can get in between them to kill that smoke off. How's that? Is that better? I think we're getting there. I mean, these logs are so hot now. They must just combust. And I know they'll burn all night. 
Okay. But I've got my ambiance. <laughs> it's just with a bit of smoke. Mmm. Last video. This is my last video before I go on vacation. So, to put that... To give you uh, an idea of what that means, uh, that means I won't be making... I won't be camping or putting out a video for probably at least two months. Two months, at least. Yeah. So you're going to see this video. Probably I will then either be back in New Zealand or on my way back to New Zealand soon. I've had to stack up a whole load of camping trips because I'm going away on vacation and I won't be camping and I won't be making videos while I'm on vacation. Um, I might do some live streams. I'm not 100% sure. I'm doing the meet and greets, but no camping. So as soon as I get back from vacation, I'll then get straight into the camping. It'll be winter here. Um, and hopefully it'll be some snow and it'll be great. Normal business. Now I am, even though I'm stuffed from my pizza, I've got some shortbread here. Wow. The wind. Suddenly. Now it's coming from that way. Isn't that bizarre? Before it was coming from the other way. I told you, it's just swirling. Oh, you know what? It might be a good idea to get my gas lighter out of the flame. So I've got some K's Big Butter Shortbread. Oh, you've lost me. There we go. K's Big Butter Shortbread. So you're gonna lose me through the heat haze. Occasionally it's gonna fade in and out. I'm sorry about that. It is true, the camera is trying, trying its hardest. I love shortbread. So the guy who sent me this um, cigar also sent me a box of uh, Scottish Shona's shortbread. It was absolutely delicious. Yeah, absolutely delicious. I am always up for people sending me things. I love it. And that was a fantastic gift of all these cigars and the shortbread. If anybody else wants to send me something like that and they're wondering how to, then the address is in the description. Make sure this pole isn't getting hot. No, it's cold. Um, yeah, the address is in the description. I've got a PO box in New Zealand that you can send stuff to. Some stuff can't come through. You can't send pork and things like that. Wow. Okay, it's big butter shortbread. Tastes of nothing. It tastes of basic shortbread. Not as good as Walker's. Definitely not as good as Shona's. Hey look, got rid of the smoke. There we go. I told you. Once they all caught, the smoke will be gone. My hat keeps falling off. So, yeah. Last video before vacation. I'm looking forward to the vacation. I'm looking forward to some downtime. But I'm actually really looking forward to coming back and camping in some snow. I know that's what everybody wants. Uh-oh. Let's move that pole a bit. Okay. Um, ah, yes. I've also got plans to do... Oh, I don't want to commit to this though. Because I'm not 100% sure this could happen this year. But I want to do a winter, US winter road trip. Mm -hmm. I 
so maybe January, February. I'd love to do that. Probably in a camper van. Something, you know, or four by four, a Jeep, something like that. Um, just want to tour around the US in winter, in the snow. Mm. The reason I really want to do it in winter, a few reasons, a few reasons. One, no bears. <laughs> I don't need to meet any bears. Two, snow. I love snow. I really love snow. I don't mind if I'm stranded somewhere for a few nights in the snow, as long as I've got heating and good food. Now here's the thing, and it's, this is obvious, Bruce obviously won't be able to come. I can't bring Bruce from New Zealand to the US. There's no way to do it. Absolutely no way to do it. I wouldn't put him through the flight. But also, even if, you, even if I was willing to put him through the flight, there's just no way. Uh, you can't just bring your pet to the US on a visit. It doesn't work like that. It's not that easy. It's complicated. And I don't want complicated. So it would just be me. It wouldn't be Anne either. She doesn't like the cold that much. And so she'd be either in New Zealand or use the opportunity to go and visit our son, Brandon, in Spain. Or wherever he is, Europe. Mm. So yeah, a US winter road trip. Let me know what you all think about that. Not in the comment section, but maybe on Facebook. It's a smooth cigar. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm pretty much done. So, look. Obviously, this is uh, filmed almost two months in advance. Almost. A month and a half. So I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's happened when this comes out. The news today. Let me tell you the news today so you know when this video was filmed. It's late March. I'm leaving in a, just over a week on vacation. Today, I think... I think tomorrow... Well, actually, so what's the date today? I'll just tell you the date instead. 21st of March, yeah? 21st of March. I don't know when this video is coming out. All good. Yep. But it, uh, it's going to be late May. Mm. And you've lost me. Because the camera is now focusing on the fire instead of me. How did that happen? Come on. Sony, you can do this. Sorry about that. <laughs> it decided. There we go. I'm back. I can tell. There we go. It, oh, come on. It's when I look away from the camera. <laughs> the, the fire's so bright that it, it's confused. That's what it is. Okay, so I'm making a complete pig's ear of my last video. Bruce, stop it. I'm making a complete pig's ear of this. All right, everybody. I'm going to enjoy the last of my cigar. I've got to relight it. My wine, my hot chocolate, and I'll bring you back for bedtime. Thanks again for coming, everybody. See you in the next one.
and I've got my ambiance. <laughs> and it's messed the camera right up. All right, I'll bring you back for bedtime, everybody. Okay, it's bedtime. Come on, Brucey. Up, up. Good boy. Up, up, up. Oh, come on, they're on your bed. Good boy. Let me just move the camera a bit. Hang on. Hold on. Ooh, it's cold, isn't it, Bruce? Oh. There we go. Hi, hi, Brucey. Oh, gosh, the temperature has really dropped. Really dropped. Whew, so cold. Oh, night, night, Brucey. Night, night. Whew. Got a weepy eye. 
Oh, he's been sticking his face in stuff. Right, time for me to go up to bed. Got the temple packed up. Don't think it's going to rain. It's too cold. You can see stars. <sighs> right. Night, night, Brucey. Night, night. Okay. Up to bed. Oh, it's cold. Right, I'll bring you back from inside the tent. Oh, right. Whew. Oh, oh really feeling it. Oh, it's cold. Brr. Right, I'm going to plug in my electric heater to try and warm us up a bit. I think I sat out there too long. Oh. <laughs> it's cold, really cold. I'd say just at freezing. But it's. <laughs> I was sitting out there a long time and I lost all the heat from the fire. It just suddenly got really cold. I might have drifted off a bit. Oh, Ooh, pardon me. Right. Okay, I will bring you back when I'm tucked into bed. I've got hiccups. Oh, I'm more tucked up. Very comfy in my Zen Bivy sleeping system. I've got the heating on. Now, there's gusts of wind outside. I'm sure we're fine. <laughs> Pardon me. I've got hiccups. Don't know where that's come from. Yeah, I can I can feel it outside gusting. But I'm toasty warm, but I'm so tired. I stayed outside far too long. Stayed up looking at the fire. Oh, I think I'm just gonna have to crash because I'm so tired. Alright everybody. Unless something major happens in the middle of the night. I think I'll see you all in the morning. Very toasty in here. I could probably turn this off for now. And that's the beauty of this thing. I just turn it on in the middle of the night or whenever uh, it's cold in here. Give it a boost. Lovely. Okay, everybody. See you in the morning. Night, night. Oh, welcome back everybody. Oh, let me put lights on here. There we go. Oh, that's dark. Light. Oh, that was a rough night. I have to say, I didn't sleep much. The wind just kept whipping through. I could hear the cord banging against the cable here. Let's have a look and see what we can see outside. I'll tell you what, it's cold. But there's no frost on the tent, so that's a good thing. Oh, oh it's bright. Oh. Oh, beautiful. What a beautiful morning. Absolutely lovely. I can hear Bruce moving around down there. Let's see if you can see him. Did you see him? I don't know. All right, time to get up, get coffee on. Lovely.
the view from the other side. Okay, let's get Brucey. And let's see if there was any damage last night, because there was a lot of flapping, so much flapping. Don't know why. It held up really well though, I have to say. Right. It's no easy way to film this. <laughs> well, no glamorous way anyway. <sighs> so it was the cord. Hi Brucey. I can tell he's in there, wagging his tail. The cord was hitting something. Oh, it's this. This was flapping around. <sighs> Hello, Brucey. Oh, you're warm. Hello. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, go on. <laughs> He'll be desperate to go and pee. Would you? Ah, oh, okay. So I had stuff charging and running and heating last night, and I've still got loads of power left. Loads of power. Got to like this EcoFlow system. Oh, you're missing up a bit. Hold on. Ah. Oh, empty bottle of wine. Scene of the crime. Fire's out, obviously. Not warm anymore either, so got to relight that. What a lovely morning, Brucey. Have you been for a swim? Are you going to go in? Are you going to go in? Ready? Are you going to jump in? One, two, three, go on then. Jump in, Bruce. Oh. Oh. <laughs> morning. <sighs> lovely. What a lovely spot. It is cold though. But I was toasty up in my tent. Yeah, just the wind. It wasn't for the wind noise. So I don't know what it was doing. It was hitting that flap. The, uh, the wind was, I guess, coming straight down the valley here and coming up under the flap here. And just, wow, what a noise. But everything is perfect. Everything held together perfectly. It was just the flapping from that strap hitting everything. Okay, let me get myself sorted and I'll come back to you. Welcome back everybody. Okay, first of all, we've got to get Brucey's breakfast. Right. Sitting like such a good boy. Okay, and this time, this morning, we're going to mix in some of his high protein dry food. Give it some crunch, mix that in with the lamb. And as usual, I've got enough food for him for a whole extra day as well. And night, that's just in case you get stranded. You just never know, you've got to plan for these things. Assume the worst. Lucy's got a weepy eye. He's been pushing through some flowers or something and it's gone in his eye, obviously. Okay, here's his breakfast. Ah, all right, everybody. So, I need to get the fire cranking. 
and I need to get a coffee on. But I need to get a coffee on urgently. So let's do that first. So I've got my Hydra, could be a Hydra stove, my new favorite stove. So it's cold, so the gas, I'm gonna invert it. Because it'll just, it'll go better. That's the beauty of this stove, is you can run all sorts of options with it. Okay, light up. Go. That was easy enough. Okay, kettle on. So yeah, that was a rough night. I have to say, it was just so windy. And the whole <laughs> truck moved at one point. So when you're up there, you really feel it. I think a different type of uh, rooftop tent would have been better. <laughs> Maybe one with a lower profile. Okay, let's get the thermocell cranked because sandfly is coming out. The midges. Thermocells are mosquitoes and midges kryptonite. Okay, okay that's lit. Ah, oh. coffee. Hazelnut latte. It's better than it sounds. Whew. Brucey, here, come and lick a spoon. What's this? Here. Brucey's licking the spoon, cleaning it. Well done. Obviously, I'm not going to use that. <laughs> That's his spoon. So, yeah, I was comfortable. I have to say, it's very cozy up there. At one point, I think I ran the heating for a few hours because it was cold. The limit of that bag on that moto bed, that Zembivi, is 32, which is zero degrees centigrade. And we definitely hit that limit last night. I could sense it, just there. I think now we're moving into autumn, winter, what I'll do is just drape another quilt over the top of it. Uh, I've got plenty of them. I've got quilts by Enlightened Equipment. So 
So I'll just take, I'll just keep that up there and my enlightened equipment quilt. Just have that on top and I'll be toasty. This is steaming. You're good to go. Almost. So this kettle has been superb. This is my favorite kettle now, this fire maple diffuser kettle. I wish Trangia would modernize and switch to this design because it just boils so much quicker than standard. You don't lose all that heat outside for nothing. It's going through the diffuser those fins and or the exchanger I should say and it's double heating it. Here we go. So there's still fuel in the line so it burns for a few seconds after you turned it off. So if you do get one of these or you find one like this then don't panic. But these are so difficult to get. I don't think you can even buy them in the States. Yep, sand flies are out. I got this off eBay from someone in Korea. There, it's out. So that runs for another like 20 seconds. Okay, let's move to the chair. Oh, I've got to get this fire pit going in a sec. Just chill. Bruce, out? Okay, thank you. Oh, let me get my thermosel. Don't attempt anything without the thermosel. Ah, it's chilly. I could put my coat on, but I think coffee will do instead. This spot, it's just lovely. It's just lovely being on the riverbed. It's just something peaceful about the water. Okay, I'm gonna get this fire cranking. I won't bore you for the second time doing that and I'll bring you back when it's good to go. It should warm things up around here as well. Okay, I'll bring you back for that. If you're wondering how I get my barbecue lit so quickly, because charcoal <laughs> takes ages to get up to temperature, I use my air pump. Invest in one of these. This one's a DeVault. Okay, that's actually lit all by itself now. So the coals are red hot on this side. Right up. One firelight on the side, it's just got too many coals on it. And so once you've got some red glowing and sparks coming from doing that, you're good, because it will then spread. It just supercharges it. And then the more you get, give it another blast towards the end of the firelight is running out and you should be good to go. All right, I'll bring you back when this is completely dusted over with grey and it's nice and hot. Cheers, everybody.
Okay, welcome back everybody. So, sit rep. The sun is coming out, but it's still cold. And the fire is ready. I blasted it with my air pump for quite a while to get it piping hot. But it is there now. Oh, gosh, charcoal, it's just so hot, charcoal. All right, single layer. But this time, I'm not gonna, ow, 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 that's so hot. Wow. This time, I'm not gonna put the grill on so low. Because especially as I just need to warm these waffles up, I don't actually need to cook them. They're pre-cooked. So that was my mistake. I burnt pizza last night. There you go. All right. So this time, I'll just go to about half of this temperature gauge on top. And I think that should do it. Because I just need to heat it. I don't need to cook it. Yeah. All right, waffles, where are they? Well, I got my maple syrup. Now, is there an easy way to warm the maple syrup up? I'll figure that out. So these are pre-cooked Belgian Liege waffles. I think they're individually wrapped. Oh, they are. Look at that. That's pretty handy. Yeah, I like that. So, as soon as this is... Oh, it's warm already. Let's just put them all in. Oh, they smell lovely. Actually, I can fit three in at the front, so I'll go with three for now. I know it's gluttony, but I'm hungry. Okay, and I need a way to warm up the maple syrup. So this doesn't get very hot. I could put it just here. Just for a little bit. This is where I break something, isn't it? You can sense it. I need to find the coolest corner where I could just... Ah, you know what? On the side here, if I move this up just a little bit, that's just warm there. <laughs> you can't see Bruce, but he's just jumped in the stream. He just keeps going in there, back and forth and back and forth. Okay. I don't think this is going to take very long. So it's nice and warm in there already. Yeah, I'm not making the same, same mistake I made last night of lowering it right down. I'll take my time with this son. Bruce, come out of there, come on. Bruce, leave. Leave it. I don't know what you found in the river. Okay, good boy. Leave it. Hanging something in the river. Right, I'll bring you back when these are ready. Okay, welcome back everybody. Right. I can smell the waffles and the stone is hot. So we're gonna try one. I've heated, yep, the maple syrup up. So, Let's take one waffle out. And just washed my tongs. Let's see if it's hot enough. I think it is. Ah, 
<laughs> so looking forward to this. Oh, uh, he's back now. Now that there's food on. Oops. Bruce. He's chasing shadows. Okay. Let's give this a go. See if it worked. What I might do is just put this back here. So in the microphone, you can probably hear the wind. It's very windy. But down here, behind this... Bruce, get out of the river! Come on! Out! Come on! He's definitely seen something in there. I don't know what it is. Just leave it, whatever it is. Hey, what have you been up to? Oh, away from the fire. Well, go on the other side and play. I don't know if someone's been here and thrown something in there, I don't know. Mmm. Oh yeah. Could probably be a bit hotter. What I might do... Push this right to the back, where it's the hottest. Because these are just above warm. Wow. Very tasty waffles. They've got crunchy bits in them. Watch Bruce, look at him. Even though I've told him off, he said don't go to that spot, he's going to try it again. Mm. Okay, you lie there. I don't know if you can see him. I'll tell you what, it was a bit cold this morning, a bit foggy when I got up. It's a cold wind, but I feel great now. I feel, I feel like this is where I should be. I'm looking up on the hill, and I can just see the trees are getting pounded with wind. And yet here it's not that bad at all. That's quite calm at the moment. So it's just whisking over the top of us. So it's a fortuitous spot. Nice waffles. I'm definitely going to let those get hotter. And I put another coffee on. Ah. I can't believe this is going to be my last camp for more than two months. Now remember, that doesn't mean that when you watch this there's not going to be a video for two months. It's just that I've stacked them up because I'm going on vacation. So you're, after you, this video comes out there'll probably be another video two or three weeks later because I'll go camping as soon as I get back. Because I think after being in, in Europe and US, I'll be desperate to get back and go camping. And it will almost be winter here then. I, I need some snow camping. Alright everybody. I'm going to take my time with these other two waffles. And my coffee. And I'll bring you back for packing everything away. Ah, oh, that breakfast was epic. So I've emptied the fire pit, buried the old coals, uh, but I need to I need to walk off this these waffles. Should we go for a walk? Come on. Let's take Brucey for a walk. 
just got to be careful with my my ankle that's all so i've been up this old 4x4 track before this hasn't been used for a long time I think people have just not realized it's here. It's quite well hidden. Look, there's a really old fire pit here. <laughs> so this has been washed over, obviously. It must have flooded ages ago. Wow, the riverbank is completely eroded. This never used to be like this. Got to go in, haven't you? How am I going to walk down there, Boosie, huh? There's nowhere to cross. Oh. What are you doing? You're going for a swim? We'll have to walk the other way around, across the stream, because there's no way through here. Come on, Boosie. Good boy. Yeah. He's still got it. Not bad for, what is he now, 11 years old? Still acts like a puppy. Look at the mountains in the background, and there's my tent. Oh man, it's cold. Now those look like some dodgy clouds coming in. We'll see. Hopefully it doesn't rain before I have to pack down the tent. It's a great setup though, look at that. Just pitch up anywhere. If you've got the right truck, the right vehicle, you've got a rooftop tent and an awning, to be honest, you can just pitch up anywhere you want. Bruce wants to go along the track that we just came, so let's go that way. So this is the way we came. Come on then, Bucy. So I'm kind of blocking the track, but as I said, <laughs> this hasn't been used for a long time. And this is New Zealand, there's nobody around. Tell you what, it's very narrow. I might have lost some paint on the way here. And I definitely took down some of these branches, overhanging branches. Bruce marking his spot, everybody, letting everybody know it's his. So this little track, very easy to miss from the road, which is probably why people have stopped using it. And it doesn't lead anywhere, it just leads to that little spot basically where I camped. So it's a dead end. It's just a nice little private camping spot. And here's the road. But even I went straight past the track. Just didn't notice it. So I came from that way. Bruce, we're going this way. Go, 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 go on. And I just came straight past it and didn't notice. It's quite well hidden. I mean, you could even camp here if you don't care about seeing other people. It's 
So those who watched my video from, oh, I can't remember when it was, quite a long time ago, I got stuck in a river. That was this river. Uh, it was way over there. <laughs> and it was pitch black and the truck actually got stuck. But, uh, luckily ro I rocked it out and got out of it, but yeah, that was a close call. River crossings can be very treacherous. So this is the Ford. Oh, Bruce has to go in. And this is an easy one. Even fun, Brucey. This is just New Zealand at its normal, to be honest. This is New Zealand. This is what it's like. Especially the South Island. This valley is just absolutely stunning. Now, there's a hut somewhere up here. Not 100% sure where. Come on. He just doesn't feel the cold at all. Oh, that sun is nice. Oh. Warm me up. It's been chilly. Looks like people have camped even just here. Because why not? I guess if you don't care, I just like to be completely hidden away, especially as I'm filming for YouTube. But if you don't really care, then... Same deal. You can use your... your rooftop tent. Just pitch it right here. As long as there's no massive rain coming. Because obviously this is technically the riverbed. So it's still dangerous to... camp. But if you know there's no rain coming and it's dry like this, then not a problem. Could you find... A bigger stick. Couldn't you find a bigger one? What you got? You got a stick, Bruce? You got a stick? Hey, what are you doing with that? Are you gonna let me have it? No, you're not gonna let me have it, are you? Oh, you wanna play tug of war? Ugh. Oh my god, you're gonna make me vomit, Bruce. You can't go round and round. Oh, Bruce. <laughs> oh. You need Bruno here to play with, don't you? Oh my god, you're gonna make me sick. Oh, oh, okay. I can't go round and round like that. That was horrible. Look at him. Right there. Come on, Bruce, let's go for a walk over here. Come on, down here. Let's go and show everybody around the world. A bit more of New Zealand. Hey now, this is a nice spot. Look at this. Again, you're on the riverbed, so word of warning. The catchment area is all the way over there. So you'd know if there'd been rain and if there was a risk of the river rising, but it does rise fairly, uh, fairly quickly. But this isn't the actual main river. This is just a stream coming from that catchment. The river is actually over there, I'll show you. But you could camp uh, it's a bit risky to camp down here. But you could camp up there pretty safely. So again, if you're looking for spots to camp by a stream or a river, do your research. Check the weather. Check the levels. Check the warnings. See if anyone else has managed to camp there or not. So there's the river all the way over there. That's the actual main bit of the river. And that comes from that large catchment area there. Oh, it's cold, Brucey, it's cold. Let's get in the sun. Oh, Bruce is so happy. I don't know if you can hear me over this wind. It's very windy, very cold. Okay.
Well, one day I'll research a bit more around here and find another spot that's a bit more sheltered. Maybe on the other side of the river would be better. And then do some more camps in this spot. What do you all think of this spot? Do you like it, this area? I love riverbeds, I just do. Because they're usually here, they're in the mountains, around, you know, surrounded by mountains. It's just so lovely with the sound of the stream. So let me know what you think. Obviously in Facebook. Or in the uh, community post that goes with this video. And uh, if you like this spot, then I'll keep coming back here, but to find different, different locations, do some scouting, because there's all that area down there. And there's ways to get to it off the main road. Oh, Boosie. Gosh, he's got all the way over there, look. <laughs> he's so happy. Go, 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 Bruce. Come on. Oh, he's loving it. Look at his tail. He's just so happy. Ready? You're gonna go for a swim? Well, this isn't deep enough. No, you shouldn't go in the big river. It's too dangerous. All right, should we go home? Yeah, come on then. <sighs> okay, everybody. See you back at camp. For packing everything up for the last time for a couple of months for me but <laughs> you'll see me again after this video probably in two weeks three weeks all right everybody bring you back at camp All right, welcome back everybody. Okay, time to pack up camp. So as usual, I will fast forward it from now. Okay, time to put the awning away.
wind is definitely picking up.
Okay, just need to stow the Starlink and then we're good to go. Just stowing it now. You should see it flip to the upright position. Okay, we're good. Let's get that in the back of the truck. Ah, oh, come up here, Bruce. Bruce, yeah. All right, everybody. <laughs> Bruce is hiding. He's ready to go home. Oh, there's a cobweb. Thanks again for coming. It's been uh, a 
a great camp. I loved it, honestly. What happened last night though was I fell asleep in front of the fire. <laughs> and I don't know if you could tell, but when I went to bed, I was freezing cold. I think I'd been asleep for about 45 minutes to an hour in front of the fire, but the fire had gone right down and I woke up just really frigid, really cold. Uh, so I was a bit surprised, it took me back. Yeah, I was just so comfy. I was so tired and I was so comfortable in that chair. And of course, you know, having a bit of wine <laughs> and a hot chocolate and I just fell asleep. And Bruce was right by my side, at my feet. And he was fine. He was lying by the fire. Um, so yeah, when I went to bed, I was absolutely freezing. It didn't take me long to warm up. I put the heater on in the roof tent, um, got in that sleeping system, and I was warm within a minute. It was fantastic. So this is the way to do it. It really is. Even if you get really cold, if you've got the right gear in the roof tent, you've got a heater, you've got a power supply, and that sleep system, you can get warm in no time at all. Bruce was fine sleeping in the back of the truck. He's used to that. He was warm. Had his blankets and everything, and it's much warmer in there than it was in the roof tent. Because that acts as an insulation layer. All right, everyone. Uh, if I saw you during um, our meet and greets, I'm sure it was great fun. Uh, thank you again to everybody who bought us treats on buymeacoffee.com. Um, everyone who bought merch, uh, all our YouTube members where you get early release of the videos, thank you so much. You can join that on my YouTube channel page. I don't think you can do it on the app. I think you have to do it on a desktop, on the browser. Um, thank you to patrons and everyone who likes and subscribes, thank you so much. Remember, if you want to comment, do it in either the community post if they're still going or it will be Facebook and Instagram. It's, it's just the way it is now, unfortunately, with YouTube and the mess that it is with these scams and bots and things. Um, other than that, I am going on holiday now, but for you, it won't be much different. I'll be back again in a couple of weeks, two to three weeks. But for me, I've now got two months off. And I'm really excited to get to Singapore, to Spain, to UK and US. Um, as usual, please sign up on my website, uh, AB Camping and uh, abcampingandoutdoors.com. I almost forgot what it was called then. And just key in your email address and you'll get notified when new videos come out or if I'm doing another meet and greet, because I might keep doing those when I'm traveling. I might do them impromptu. Um, even in New Zealand, uh, I think Australia might be coming up. I want to go and see uh, some friends in Australia. I want to go see Jörg at Go 4x4. So maybe we'll all hook up there. It feels like uh, it's like an end of a year. And it sort of is because I've taken such a long break and then coming back. So it just feels kind of strange. But uh, I'll miss it. I'll miss camping for a couple of months. I can't wait to get back to it. Uh, I'm going to miss the Poochies. They're going to be here alone. We've got a house sitter that's going to be looking after them. Uh, just in case anyone was wondering what we're doing with the dogs. Uh, Bruno is going to be sitting with Bruce and they'll be fine together I'm sure. Hey Brucey, do you want to go home? All right everybody, I've rambled on long enough. Thank you so much for coming with us on this one. There's been some disasters uh, at the camera and the pizza and burning everything but this morning was epic. Um, the cigar was epic. Thanks again to Sean for that and thanks everyone. I just want to thank you all for, for watching and subscribing um, and liking the videos. It just keeps me motivated to keep doing them, trying to find new spots, trying to find new gear. It costs a lot of money to get all this gear. Um, it's not given to me. Uh, so, you know, I keep getting out there and keep trying to find this stuff uh, to test it, to see what it's like, so you know what it's like if you're gonna go and buy it. All right, everyone. Thanks very much for coming. Catch you next time on AB Camping with Tony and Bruce. Bye, Bruce. All right, bye, everybody.